Hey guys, welcome back to Genji Plans. Today we're doing a cloth diaper video, which I don't do a whole lot of, but today I'm going to show you how to size one size diapers, specifically for newborns, to get those really ba uh, tiny babies who are just transitioning out of maybe a newborn stash into one size. So our daughter, our second daughter is eight weeks old, and she's been in prefolds and covers. If you want to see our full stash of everything and storage, that's linked up in the corner. Um, she is just starting to move into the one size diapers right now. The newborn size prefolds are starting to get a little bit small. So this is how we have it set up right now. Um, this is the full size, you know, this is the largest it can get. This is how it was with our toddler before she pre, uh, before she potty trained. Um, and so it can be as big as this, which is crazy and awesome. This would be what you would consider the smallest setting right, where you move this, the rice snaps all the way up, all the way across, and then put your um, snaps here, the waist snaps at the middle. Now, in order to understand the way that the sizing works, there's, I guess, three dimensions really to look at. So you've got, first of all, the rise, and that's going to be, you know, from the crotch to the belly button, how tall your baby is. Then you want to consider the waist, and so that's going to be what setting you put your uh, waist snaps at, which are these two top ones uh, here. And then the third dimension is the leg opening, and so that's going to be this hip snap and where it goes. So genuinely, generally you would consider this to be the smallest hip snap setting. But we're going to be doing, uh, looking at some newborn hacks that allow you to get that even smaller and be able to fit that sort of transitional phase between a newborn cover or a newborn size diaper and the one size. So fortunately, our eight week old is just about ready to fit into this size right here, which I said is generally considered the smallest setting, but there are other ways to do it. For one thing, if you have a baby with a tiny little waist, maybe he just went through a growth spurt and is long and skinny, then that's where these um, like upside down snaps along the waist are really helpful. You can actually move it over, say move it over just one snap instead of having it like this, move it over here. And then you can cross over. That's just crossed over one snap. Of course you can cross over multiples. One important thing to note, um, you don't have to have your waist snaps to be the same on both sides. You probably want your hip snaps to be the same on both sides, but it can be a little bit different. So say, you know, you're between sizes as it were. So we're snapped here at the waist and your baby is too big for this setting, but too small for this setting. Well, you can just move one over and give you a little bit extra room this way without going the full size all the way over. So that's the same thing with these crossover snaps. Basically consider the waist dimension to be separate completely from the hip dimension. Don't think of these snaps going together and having to you know, line up perfectly. You can get a little bit of a, a wrinkle underneath the tab and then get a better fit overall. If you want to make the leg opening smaller because you've got a little newborn who's just, um, you know, eight, nine, 10 pounds, not quite ready to go into the full size yet. There are a few ways to do this. And the standard way that you'll see, um, you definitely want to put the middle snap at the highest rise setting. But instead of putting the bottom snap here up to this rise, you can snap this somewhere else. Now I've done it this way where you move it to the middle setting. I've also seen it done this way where you actually snap it upwards to this hip snap instead. But what that allows you to do either way is to take your hip snap here and attach it to the bottom of the rise snaps. That's going to make your opening a lot smaller than if you just have the standard all the way up here compare those. It's a little bit hard to see, but that does give you a little bit of a smaller uh, spacing here. The There's really no difference if you snap it this way versus snapping it 
uh, this way. The only difference would be that if you snapped it up instead, you would have an extra intermediate setting to put your hip snap here if that works better for you. Now the final thing that you can do to make it even tinier is to take this flap or the tab or whatever you call it that goes around, you can actually twist it all the way around and that just makes it a little bit shorter and then go ahead and snap that hip snap down. You can see that makes it significantly smaller and snugger. Um, I've never had to use this technique because we do have a uh, newborn size cloth diaper stash, but if say you were using disposables until you were ready to move into one size, this is a way that you could get a little bit, few, uh, a few more weeks maybe out of the cloth diapers without having to use your um, disposable stash or whatever you've got going on. The very final tip to show you is that even if this is looking a little bit big on the leg hole, you can actually take the inside part here and tuck that upwards to sort of cinch that hole a little bit smaller up against the baby. It's not going to budge too much, especially if they're not crawling yet, obviously. Um, and so that is a way that you can just kind of snug up just a little bit more. And you can get a lot more wear out of these one size diapers earlier on in your diapering career before they're ready to fit that standard, um, you know, small size that you would consider to be the, the basic small size. So there you go. Those are a few different techniques and tips, a few different things to consider even as you're growing out. Make sure you just remember that there's three different dimensions. Uh, to consider when you're sizing a diaper so you can play around with it. If you're feeling like you're getting leg leaks um, leaks up here. Um, just those are a few different ways that you can resize your diaper to make sure that it fits nice and snug and gets you the best fit possible. So thank you for joining me. I have a few more videos about cloth diapers, a lot of stuff about pregnancy and baby because as I mentioned, we have a newborn right now. So that's what we're going through in our lives. Um, and then every Thursday I post content about my planner system. So if you're interested in any of that, please do uh, subscribe down below, hit that like button, bell, and all of the good stuff, and I will see you in the next video on Thursday. Bye!